What is going on guys? It's Real Touch Gmail here back with another Java tutorial. This is the sixth part and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at creating our player and actually initializing some gravity and maybe some collision. Probably not in this tutorial but coming up uh, a lot to do with the player and you know side collision, uh, top collision, all of that fun stuff. Alright so what I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm just going to create another class and I'm going to name it player. And it's going to extends game object. Control Shift O to import that, and then just hover over the player, and you can add the constructor, and then add um, the unimplemented methods, which is the rectangle get bounds, the render, and the tick. Okay. And for the rectangle, what I'm going to do is first off, I'm just going to create a private float width and this is going to equal 32 and the height is going to equal 64. So in here we're going to return a new rectangle. We're going to cast as an int x int y int uh, width and int height. And we can just basically copy this and then to draw it we say g.setColor color.blue and g.fillRect and we can just put that in there. Alright, so this is going to return a rectangle around our player which we're going to use for collision and the render is going to just render out a blue square with the desired dimensions that we put up top. So if we go into game here and under this we say uh, we're going to say object new player 100 100 object ID dot player. Control Shift O to import it. And if we run the game now, as you can see, we get a blue square up top, and this is going to be our player. All right. So let's add some gravity to it. So in here, I'm going to say private private float gravity equals we'll say 0 0.5. All right. And in here, in our tick, I'm going to say x plus equals velocity x and y plus equals velocity y. Um, actually, let's set up a few variables here. I'm also going to set up a private boolean uh, jumping, or no, falling. Yeah, we'll say falling equals true. Actually, you know what? I'm just, I'm just trying to think on how we would go about doing this. And you know what? I think what we're going to do is in our game object, Let's just initialize those variables up here. So protected boolean falling equals, uh, we'll say true, and protected boolean jumping equals false. And I think that should be good. So then in here, if you're using Eclipse, then, then you can do this little shortcut. If not, just make getters and setters for the falling and jumping, same as we did right here. But Eclipse actually has a little source uh, shortcut. If you go to source here, you can say generate getters and setters for falling and jumping. And there we go, it generates it for us. And we have that available for us now. So in here we can now use that. So in the tick, I'm gonna say if falling or jumping. So if we're falling or jumping or jumping, then gravity is going to uh, come into effect. So we're gonna say velocity y plus equals gravity. And if we go ahead and run it, oh, and you probably missed that. Okay, um, let me set the gravity a little bit lower. So here we go. So as you can see, the box now falls. Uh, it's a little hard because the actual window goes or uh, pops up on my other screen, so I have to kind of quickly move it. Let's try 0 0.1, just so I can kind of. There we go. So now it's falling, it's falling, it's falling, and as it uh, um, as it goes on, it falls just a little bit faster as it goes. So um, zero point five, I think, is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, here we are. We have this now. If you have your gravity like super like high, you know, we, you you want that character to fall down right when it hits the peak of jumping. Uh, it can the gravity can get a pretty fast. So we can set a uh, just a handler to kind of uh, control that velocity by saying if velocity y is greater than your max uh, speed, velocity y equals max 
speed. And max speed is actually a variable that we can create. So private final float max speed, and we can say equals to 10. So now our velocity y will never go greater than 10. All right. So that is a little bit on gravity. So now we have the player falling and next tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and work into collision. Uh, all four sides of collision, which will probably end up using four uh, different sets of bounding boxes. But for now, we're, uh, we are just going to stop it here. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. Uh, I will see you guys next time, please.